we became a, a partner of Getty Images. And uh, Jonathan Klein, the CEO, got on the phone one day and said, look, you know, um, uh, I'd love to buy your company. So we had uh, three people eventually bidding for the company, uh, Getty Images, uh, Bill Gates, and, um, and uh, a, a company called Jupiter Corporation. I think we got fair value for the company at the end of the day. We achieved $135 million. Uh, the key players, we had only 28 people on the staff. Um, the people who uh, added the most value uh, were very well rewarded, in my opinion, and uh, a lot of them have gone on to great, to, to, uh, to, to great things. Quite a few of them are working for themselves now. Running a, 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 a business across several continents uh, with just a very small team, uh, with extremely tight deadlines, extremely ambitious goals, uh, and very demanding clients, uh, and a very demanding CEO, <laughs> wasn't easy for anyone. There's probably an, in in uh, in entrepreneurial uh, ventures, there's probably close to a 99% failure rate, and a lot of it comes down to uh, tenacity. I mean, those those who win, generally speaking, deserve to win. Uh, you've got to be a very tenacious person to actually uh, to keep going, to keep your head straight, uh, to deal with all of the disappointment. People who meet me for the first time think I've had a very successful career, but I've had an awful lot more failure than success in my career, and still have more failure than success. When you're innovating, then of course you're going to make mistakes, you're going to make a hell of a lot of them, and it's, and it's going to cost you a lot of dough. Uh, and it, it does, and it still does. If you're, doing, if you're trying to break new ground, that's what it takes. It takes uh, the, uh, you've got to be brave enough to say, you know, I'm going to waste a, an absolute shed load of my own money and my own time in trying to get here and hopefully at the end of it I'll get the answer. I was, certainly was brought up in a, in a, 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 a real sort of really unusual situation myself and my brothers. Uh, we, we were, uh, to be an entrepreneur coming from that environment was, was very easy. We didn't have any barriers to cross. Uh, we were facing impossible tasks when we, when my father announced that we were going to start Kerry's Eye in March 1974. Two weeks later, we had a colour newspaper on the streets. I don't know how we did it. Uh, we were insane. But that's where it started. Somebody has to be really brave uh, to take the decision. And you'd never take that decision if you, if you knew what you didn't know. Nothing good comes easy. No one that I've met who's uh, achieved a lot has done it uh, with 40 hours a week or, or with, uh, uh, with, with sort of uh, a, a fantastic lifestyle. You can't have it all and you have to pay for, you have to pay for your success in some way with, 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 with sacrifices along the road.